Hello on folks, it's Ron from Ron's Beers and Tools. I'm going to be in a review today. <clears throat> As you can see in front of you, Otter Creek Brewing Company. This is their Free Flow IPA. Otter Creek is basically located in Middlebury, Vermont. To be more precise, 793 Exchange Street up there in Middlebury, Vermont, the Green State. This basically brewery was founded in 1991. It's a small brewery, but its parent company is Long Trail Brewing, which is another big brewery in Vermont, the Green State, as they call it. It's a fairly uh, kind of active brewery, and the way they brew things and the things that they do at the brewery. Basically, Otter Creek, uh, it was, like I say, started in 1991. In the year round, they have three year round beers. This is a year round brew, this IPA. It's free flow, it's a 6%. It's American IPA by style. They have another American IPA by style called Berner, B-E-R-N-E-R, -E and that's a 7%. And uh, the other brew that they brewed three times, there was another Indian PLL, 5.5%. It's called Ella. So they keep active in their brewing for the, for the, the season. Like I said, this is a year-round beer. So we'll say a little bit about the brewery. The brewery in Milton, Vermont, that it, it produces really two lines of beers. They got the uh, Otter, Otter, Otter Creek, which you see here, this line here, they had and I were just talking about, the Otter Creek Craft Eels, and they have another line called Shed, Shed Brewery Eels. It, it, it brewed Wolf Lavers Organic Brewery Beers from 2003 until 2015 when it ceased brewing that line. So the, the, there is no two lines. I thought they still had the two lines. It ended in 2015, that Shed Brewing. Uh, Let's see if we can get any more information on this brewery. This brewery has uh, the basically the first brew, like I said, it was 1900, and it was called Copper Ale. And uh, that was uh, at a small place on 1616 Exchange Street in Middlebury, Vermont. And uh, they shipped their first kegs of beer shortly thereafter. Four years later, they got expanded and moved, and that's the new address now at 793 Exchange Street. So they've been getting bigger ever since, and they have quite the, the brewery there. Uh, let's talk about the beer now. This beer here at six percent is uh, quite the beer. It has. Uh, let me go on with the, with the with the hops on this. This free flow IPA, six percent ABV. It has sixty international bitter units. That's sixty international bitter units. So it's really not a lot when you consider uh, some of these hoppier IPAs at ninety-five, eighty-five, and a hundred. But 60 is a good a good amount. It's, it is an IPA, is what, they, what they're saying. And the hops in this are Falconer's Flight, Citra, and Galaxy. They even have a bit of oats in this, and that's going to give you the smoothness in a beer. Again, like I said, this style is an American IPA, and it's a year-round beer. Now, in those hops that I mentioned, the first one I mentioned was Falconer's Hops. That, that Falconer Hop is for the aroma. It's really an aroma hop. It has uh, the aromas of the grapefruit. It's floral. It has a uh, it's citrusy, uh, some like lemon, uh, grapefruit. It's but that big overall is a tropical fruit aroma coming out of this. This was developed that hop that Falconer hop in 2010 by a union. It's called Hop Union Limited Liability Company. So it's Hop Union LLC that a bunch of uh, real beer enthusiasts have gotten together. And farm this, and what they did was that hops that I was saying, the Falconer hops, that was basically de developed and created to honor the legacy of a a gentleman that was out in, in Oregon, out in the um, Northwest, brewing, started from home brewing, and grew always through the ranks and became a very very good brewer, very knowledgeable gentleman, and uh, he passed away unexpectedly in 2002. But he, he really changed the name of brewing from just brewing regular beers to just trying different things and brewing some of the best brews with the, some of the hops that he always uh, tried and, and did different things. Very active gentleman. Traveled the world, picking up all kinds of information <clears throat> excuse me, on, on, on hops and beer in itself. His name is Glenn Hay Velkner. That's the full name of the gentleman, Mr. Glenn Hay Falconer, and he passed away, like I said, in 2002. Well, in honor of him, 
Hop Union LLC, they created the hop that we're talking about now, the Falcon of Flight. And you have to look it up. You've got an opportunity to look it up on the Internet. Uh, look it up and uh, get all the information out. And the gentleman himself, uh, Mr. Glenn A. Falconer, a uh, true beer enthusiast who changed the world for the for the better dealing with beer. Okay, no no further ado. Let's um, let us uh, get a glass. We'll get some. Um, oh, we got this one here. Okay, this is a. Uh, we got this one here. This is an old timer. I don't know if you folks have ever had or seen the old Vienna by Lag by O'Keefe. It was a lager beer, basic lager beer. And um, here it is here, O'Keefe. Um, they had a brand of beer. I don't know if they still do have it on the market, but this is an old glass from years ago that I had picked up. And when I was uh, really first started drinking beer, I don't know if they have it again around today or not. All right, no further ado. Let's uh, crack this top open. Oops. Water babies come out. Okay. Looking hazy from here. I'm getting some tropical fruits. Whew. Getting the aroma. Oh, that is a strong, really strong, pungent smell. Nice, nice smell. Oh, that is nice. That's a nice looking couple. Look at that couple. Oh, makes a nice picture. Look at that glass of beer. Nice foamy head on it. A little aggressive pour to add to the head. For the sake of the picture, that is really nice looking. That pour, it's, it's, it's a hazy golden color, as you can tell by that. It's a 6% ABV, like I said. Beer Advocate gave this a 4.07 out of 5. On their rating scale, that's an exceptional beer. And uh, from here, it looks good. It sounds good. And the pour was nice. Got a haziness to it. Foamy white head. Uh, looks nice. No further ado, let's get some aroma on this. Oh, right away, right away, picking up on the pineapple, and definitely picking up on that pininess. Sweetness, that grapefruit smell. Got to be the hops that I'm getting on the tropical fruit on this, the aroma. You can get the, the that literally smell the hoppiness of the citrus and that falconer flight. Hmm. I don't know if I'm getting a hint of the oats that they have in this or not. But uh, well, let's take a look. Get the, the sorry, there goes the drum going up. Up, 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 all right. Get the drone up so we can get a better look at the head. It's dissipated by the looks of it. The edges look a little creamy. Could be from, I would assume, the oats that they little mine or mine hints of oat in this. But yeah, it's not retaining a, a head on it, but that doesn't mean anything. Houston, we have a thin point landing. Okay, no further ado. Let's get a taste. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Nice tasting IPA. Mmm. It truly is. Mmm. Yes. Following the aroma, it's, it's full of Falcon of Flight hops. All those uh, mentioned uh, as far as the aromas. Flavors, citrusy, slight bitterness, but it doesn't linger long. It lingers just a little bit to go down the throat and then disappears. Get kind of a grapefruit melon. It tastes like a melon kind of. 
flavor in there. I'm not sure if it's melon or the, or the grapefruit that I'm getting on this. Without further ado, let's take another big mouthful. Mmm. It's kind of a creamy mouth feel on it. The mouth feel feeling creamy, citrusy, definitely medium bodied. Mmm. Crisp. They use their own yeast in this, top fermenting yeast in this beer. So it's truly an ale, true ale. Mmm. A true ale all the way. Flavorful, very flavorful. It's crisp. It's easy drinking. Does leave a, a kind of a, a bitterness on it. Mmm. Mmm. It's uh, not a bad drinking ale at all. Rather, rather good. Those Northwest hops and the flavors on this, it's very similar to a New England juice bomb, but it has a lingering bitterness, and it's just a little bit not as, I don't call the New England juice bomb sweet, but they're, they're far, far from bitter. This is a true flavor of a IPA that's not a New England juice bomb. It's, it's got ling some bitterness that lingers a bit, but not long. Ah, very good. I enjoy it. Would I get this again? Yes, I would. I would definitely get this again. It's uh, an easy drinking beer. Uh, let's see what they say. A mind-melting Indian pale ale. Otter Creek Brewing Company. I always look at the can, so look at this can now. It keeps saying a mind-melting Indian pale ale. Free flow IPA. Otter Creek Brewing Company up there in Vermont. Fairly really nice can. I like the can. The colors stick out. They jump out at you. It tells you that it comes in 12 ounce cans. Nice. It's a uh, nice graphics in the can. Truly a, an IPA can. And uh, up there in Middlebury, Vermont, if you're ever in the area, they have a nice webpage. Go on their webpage. Even though you got a chance to get up there to uh, Exchange Street, 790 to Exchange Street, Middlebury, Vermont, do. So with that said, folks, have a good day. Go to drink. Drink responsibly. Ciao.